readily available out there, but it's readily available now. But the problem I think that you see, uh, you know, I mean, look, I'm, I'm a parent, I have teenage children, uh, you know, pot use in schools today is still pretty frequent, probably more frequent than it was when I was growing up. And younger, too. And younger, too. So the problem is, is isn't there something to be said about uh, teenagers uh, utilizing pot, you know? Uh, because I remember in college, they used to say, oh, you smoke pot, you're, you're killing brain cells by the millions, mm -hmm. right? And I don't know if that's true or not, right, but that was, right. the, I, you know, that was the cliche that was utilized. Right. So it, it, could it be dangerous to teenagers? You know, I think that with teenagers, because your brain isn't actually fully developed until you're about 20 or so. Oh, is that true? I think, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that um, for sure... You, you don't want teenagers being stoned all the time. That, that, that's real. Right. Um, you know, that's a time to be maturing the brain and the mind. So I, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan. While I am absolutely an advocate of the legalization, the decriminalization of cannabis, right. uh, taking it completely out of the illegal economy, um, I would really hate to see that result in more teenagers than now, for example, using it more. I don't actually think it would. But 